Never heard of that. Anybody that has tried to love and tried to hurt me back. Yo, what's up? It's I'm Lonnie TV2. If you're new to the channel, man, welcome, man. Join the game by going down below and tapping the subscribe button, man. We're on our way to 10K right now. We recently hit 1500, and I'd like to thank y'all for that, man. I don't think I gave y'all an official thank you, man. So here it is. Thank you, man. Today, right in the it's her boyfriend cheating with other females. Was oh shit, why she's at work? Hey, y'all some grimy girls, man. Y'all got work husbands and shit, work boyfriends. Hey, I ain't gonna knock it. I ain't no snitch, man, because I be that work boyfriend. I ain't gonna hold. Welcome bro. back to another episode on Jack TV. Today, Kayla wanted to put yeah. her boyfriend to the loyalty test to see if he was truly loyal to her or not. Hey, Kayla, we uh we here. Oh, that's what they doing on a baseball field. Did okay. you right here on the bleachers, Kayla? Yeah, I'm over here by these baseball fields. All right, we finna go. All right, man. Where does meet up location, I'm a worker, man? man? I work at night, so I work like the night shift, like nine. Who the fuck chose this meet up location? I don't feel like I'm getting set up. I'm not gonna lie. If I was doing this shit and some cat told me, meet me at the baseball dugout. I ain't done that shit since high school. You talking about meet at the baseball dugout? Who you got there with you? This shit a setup. Like, what's your reason behind me in the dugout? Like, why don't we go meet somewhere in public? Is that shit not sus, bro? Am I really tripping? Know. Sometimes I work later hours, and it's like perfect time. And every time I leave, it feel like he got some weird shit going on. Basically, I have ring cameras at my spot, and every time I check the footage at night when I come back from work, it's deleted perfectly. So I don't know if he unplugging it with the camera. I don't know what's going on. But I need y'all to help me figure out what's going on. Mm -hmm. And then he also having parties with his friends, which is cool. I don't be tripping on parties, but mm -hmm. now it's like with these parties, every time it's just walking out of my spot, it's the perfect amount of just for him and all his parties. So I don't know <laughs> what's going on. And you mad you're you not you included. Ask him about it? Like check on about why why the cameras like keep cutting off. I love my man, so I kind of like slight pressed him, like not hard, but I kind of pressed him. I'm just like, babe, like what's going on with the cameras? All right. So when you at work and shit. Is there a boundary set as to like who comes in and out the house? Like, are you cool with him, his partners, and having females over? Have y'all had that conversation? I trust him, honestly. I really do. I so trust just him. Really I don't want you don't trust, trust him? him? Why are we doing this loyalty test if you trust him? Hey, right, before we get to this video, y'all see that thing right there? WCW, we got a new Discord for y'all, man. So go down below, tap in with it. That's where I post all the exclusive content. All the content I can't post on YouTube, the one that get yellow mic age restricted because it'd be too much body showing. It's all on the Discord, so go tap in over there, man. Like, yeah. until it's something not to trust, but that that camera is just too, it's too sneaky. Yeah, yeah you, you can't get by no camera, too, man. You said my my parents got cameras all across so their crib. Kinda, this shit off boundary. That's yeah. what's doing it. We all sure. know what's going on. I just, need, I just need my proof. I just need my proof. Okay. We have a lot of trust issues, and it's like, if we could get past that, I think everything would be good. And that's really why I reached out to you all, because I do feel like we have trust issues. Other than that, our relationship, I would say, is 110% like everything you I feel like trust reliable. issues never disappear. He pays bills. He do what he's supposed to do. It, otherwise, I don't really have any real big issues. It's just this one thing. That Hold I on. Her bills is paid? Hold on. Hold on. Did I hear that shit right? Everything you would want. He's reliable. He pays the bills. It, ladies. Ladies. All y'all ladies watching this, I know we got some ladies viewers over here. If your boyfriend's paying all your bills... Your house bills, your living bills, your food bills. Do y'all care if he cheat? I feel like you shouldn't. You living good. You don't even got to work no more. You was set. You just paying. For, if you working, you working for yourself. Literally, you getting your nails, your lashes, your makeup done. That is it and your food. Other than that, you're set, bro. You might, be, might as well be okay with him cheating. If you paying for your shit, it's either get cheated on or work. Which one y'all taking, man? Really think about it before y'all really jump to a conclusion, too. He do what he's supposed to do. It, otherwise, I don't really have any real big issues. It's just this one thing that I just can't seem to put my finger around. I can't wrap my finger around it, to be honest. What's your availability? Like, what's your work schedule? Uh, I work this weekend. Anytime this weekend from 9 to, like, 2, I'm good. Oh, that was okay. perfect. So, hours. yeah, we'll probably try to do the test on one of those days so it's not too out of the ordinary mm -hmm. and he won't suspect you. That's yeah. fine, we can do that. Yeah, so just stay in touch, you know what I'm saying? Nice to meet you, and um, nice I'm gonna let you know all the details and shit like that. So Kayla explained every time she's at work, her ring cameras go offline. She thinks that her boyfriend is actually doing that purposely so he can secretly hide females in his house or just things that he don't want her to know about. Being that we have no <laughs> access to her phone to see when the ring cameras go off, we are solely relying on Kayla to give us that information when to arrive. Two days later, 
So we met up with Kayla Wednesday and Saturday yeah. she had already called us and told her that her ring camera is already appearing offline. So she sent me the address close to where her she stayed so we could meet because he could possibly have somebody inside of the house at that very moment. Yeah, so basically like, he think I'm at work right now. He think this is around the hours I'm supposed to be at work and shit. And the camera then went off again. I'm feeling like there's some weird shit going on. He think I'm at work, but I've been around the corner at my home girl house chilling. Mm. And I feel like I need y'all to help me out and like, his phone, I feel like it's on airplane mode. Every time I call him, my call's not going through. You know, all yeah. that. Same all shit. That crazy. Crazy. I called like five times. He answer? I don't even call more than twice. And nah, he didn't answer. I was at my homegirl's house. He thought I was at work, because it's around the time I'm supposed to be at work. I'm chilling with my homegirl. Man, she talk a lot. God Jackson. damn. I know it's Ooh. not. You don't even give a fuck no more. Be defensive. I'm not going to lie. He probably is, for sure. So at this point, everything is very straightforward. All we got to do is really just go inside the house to see if somebody's in there or not. Is that what the, is this not even a real loyalty test? We don't got no decoys no more? Are we done with decoys? The decoys not exist, so they're not handling the business? If y'all really need a decoy, hit my line, bro. Because it seems like the decoys ain't doing good enough for y'all just running in on motherfuckers. That shit don't seem right. That's almost like you getting lined. It's like his girlfriend is lining them up. You... They ain't finna run into the guy's house with a camera crew and 10 guys. Bro just got lined. Wow. Hey, bro. Man, fake ass testimonials. You know we gotta skip this cash up shit. They be showing like three of these for four minutes of it. What type of loyalty test is this? I don't fuck with this. What the hell? Hey, nigga. Hey, you got a straight right to just air that bitch out like that. You hearing too many, too many steps coming up your up your own stairs? It's not just your girl. Hey. Who the fuck them niggas is, bro? That shit gonna throw you off. Wow. Bro better not just be sitting on the couch, too. He's just on the couch. Is that him? Oh no, that's a pillow. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Worry about that. Worry about that. Worry yeah, who's in your house? What the fuck you got going on, bro? What the fuck you got going on? What the fuck you got going on? Nah, you obviously fucking do. You obviously fucking do. Who the fuck curse is that? Who the fuck shit is that though? Who the fuck is that? Ah, this is a weird loyalty test. I ain't fuck with it. This ain't no real loyalty test. Yeah, who the fuck are they? It's fucking water burger on the counter. You fucking went fast. It's random niggas and shit. filming this shit. I don't know what the fuck going on. And I'm walking up and I see him and he trying to hold me back and shit from seeing a bitch. I hope he not really fucking around in my house. I hope that shit not going on. But he paying That's the bills, so it's your house, right? Bro, bro y'all gotta slide, bro. Let's go. Let's go. Man, what the fuck is going on? Hold on. This shit not right, bro. Am I tripping? Am I only, the only one seeing this shit wrong? This is his house too, basically, bro. He's paying for shit. This is his house. He telling these niggas to get out. They got bodyguards in this house to prevent them from getting out the house. Look, the niggas fighting back. I've never seen no shit like this, bro. This shit weird as shit. Bro, y'all gotta slide, bro. I don't know about Let's this go. one. Man, what the fuck is you doing, man? Yeah. What the fuck is... Hey, Kayla, hold on. the house hey, tight, hey, though. I know it. I know it. I know it. Why the fuck you in my shit? Who the fuck is you? Who the fuck is you? Why you got a fuck in my shit? Like these niggas bum rushing into the house. Don't worry about him. Don't worry about him. Don't worry about him. They were they supposed to be. They were they supposed to be. They were they supposed to be. Back up. That's what I'm saying. Get this out of my shit. Man, get the slide. 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 Bro, this nigga smoking weed with a bitch in my fucking house. This nigga chilling on my house. Not saying, this ain't no shit. I'm steady asking this why the fuck he got a bitch in my house and he not fucking answering me, bro. This shit really finna blow me. He this can't answer if it's for the nigga standing right there. Like you try, he trying to figure out what the fuck going on too. Like who the fuck is these niggas with you? At that point, are you cheating too? You cheating with four niggas? That's how my brain thinking. What the fuck going on? Why are you outnumbering my cheat? You feel me? Shit not adding up. Blow me and zone me the fuck out. That shit odd as fuck. With a water burger, bitch. Yeah, hey, water burger. Slide. Just slide. <laughs> I'm gonna go. Yeah, that's what you should do. Slide. Just slide. Who the fuck is these niggas, bro? Who the fuck is this bitch? Who the fuck is this bitch? 
bro. I'll find out. I'll find out then. Bro, what type of shit? I'll find out. Hey, look up there. Worry about them niggas. Worry about them niggas. We gonna talk. Bro, we gonna talk. He got a 304. He got a Blade Walker. He's smashing out. I gotta holler at you. That's fine. Yeah, we can talk about it. We can talk about it. Come on, where you got it? We can talk about it then. How you know my nigga? Worry about your girl, boo. Why are they touching them? Why are they touching them? Answer the question I'm asking. How do you know my nigga? I'm telling you that. Damn. He was chilling with me. He never told me. How did he reach out to you? Right, right, how, right. how did he reach Ask out to him? him? All right, man. How did, how did you reach out to this bitch? How do you know this bitch? I'm finna get ready to go. Oh, shit. Baby. This is weird as shit, bro. This is weird as shit. Yeah, hey, I ain't gonna lie. This Jack TV did, bro. Them niggas just came in to get free content. They ain't put no effort into this video at all. At all. This was a free video for them to profit on. I do business is business, but man, I wish there was something else involved in this video. I don't like I don't like this whole scenario, man. It's like these niggas are stalling around watching with security and shit. Like it's shit weird as fuck. It's all weird as shit for real. That's what I'm saying. Don't worry about them. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Who the Move. fuck is for these four niggas? I'm trying to imagine myself in this situation. Like nigga. Don't touch Don't touch Nah, he didn't even do nothing wrong. He didn't even do nothing wrong. He literally laid her on the couch and this nigga's finna Oh my god. Oh my god. The the, the girl is being physical with him. She's over here pushing him in the face, doing a lot of shit. All this nigga did was lift her up and put her on the couch. And this nigga's finna go full bodyguard mode on the nigga. Who the fuck is you? You feel me? Like, what the fuck? Hey, chill out. Hey, chill out. Hey, chill out. The nigga laid her down on the couch. And it's the issue. Why would you bring these niggas? I knew you was on some weird shit. Every time I go to work, why do the ring camera be cleared every time I go to work? Man, what is you talking why about? Why do you be clearing that fucking camera that every time? Sad, I... And I don't know how to even work that shit. Man, what the fuck, bro? <laughs> hey, calm down. Oh, I never know how to work these cameras, man. Worry about why you? Why you? Whoa, look, 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 look. Hey, she's pretty damn physical. Pretty physical. And all my nigga did was lift her up. And gently put her on the couch. Oh my God! It's a hey. The world is not fair, man. A lot of people try to say shit is equal. No, it's not equal, bro. Hey, how come every time I check that motherfucking footage, it's always clear? What do you be doing? Man, Just tell the truth. I already seen this. I don't so be doing nothing. Do? I don't be. Man, one of y'all better get the out of my motherfucking face. I'm not gonna lie. These niggas better get the out of my house. Security. Yeah. Security. Security. Man, I'm at the end of the day, my name, name on the lease. lease, man. My name on the lease too. What is you talking and about? You don't pay no bills. I put bill. down paper every and, day. Okay. Move, move, what is you talking about? She just said he pays bills. bills. What the fuck is wrong? It started getting way out of hand and way too serious. And honestly, I really feel like this was the wrong decision to make. Um, my started getting aggressive with me. I never seen that before. Like at this level, he started getting aggressive with the security. They fighting. They thumping. He slammed me on my head. He put me on my shit. I don't know what the fuck is going on, but I gotta see where this should happen. I gotta see where this should happen. Cause all I've seen so far, all I've seen, all I've seen was him toss on the couch. Okay, we toss girls on the couch all the time. When you when you finna get into your due diligence, guess what? I, guess what you do? You toss the joint on the bed or on the couch on some soft shit. That's what he did. The guards getting physical with him. That nigga ain't did shit. Or you trying to tell him to budge, get the hell out the house. And guess what? He tried shoving them out the way. And guess what they start doing? They start fighting back in his own house. You feel me? So I feel like in this situation, if this nigga kind of brought that shit up too fed, I think the niggas recording would actually be in the wrong, oh, bro. Like, I, I think it's a bad idea. But I just had to know, like, what he was doing. Hey, chill out. Oh, what the fuck? Stop touching bro. Yeah, he like he keeps touching him. Like, what the fuck is he doing? Right now, bro. Stop putting your hands and talk to your girl, bro. Hey, Kayla. Put your hands on me, bro. These. I can't be the only one confused, bro. 
security guard tripping, man. Security guard tripping. This nigga getting close to him. My the nigga sticks his arm out like, and the nigga swipe down and saying, "Stop testing it." No, bro. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. Nah, these are strangers in your house, bro. Where is your pole at, nigga? Like, this is not okay. Like, look. Look, look. What the fuck? The nigga gonna tell him to talk to his girl? Get the fuck out of my house. What? Get the fuck out of my house. They can be here. I invited them here. They can be here. What you talking about? Stop touching, bro. What you talking about? Stop touching, bro. What you talking about? What's the word that's my phone? That's my Oh, hey, where y'all? Hey, Kayla, do you mind going outside? Yeah, it's fine. Let's go outside. Yeah. Hey, just watch out, bro. Watch out, bro. Watch out, bro. Watch out, bro. You good, you good. You good, bro. Babe, hey, 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 come here. Hey, what the fuck? Oh, so I kind of just want to separate Kayla from my boyfriend because he was getting a little bit physical and I didn't want anybody to get harmed because I would feel responsible for that. So I just went ahead and removed her from the house completely. So Jack ended up pulling me outside because the situation, like I told you, it got kind of crazy. It started getting wild. And he pulled me outside to make sure I felt they safe. Niggas yeah. pulling yeah. in like they fucking law enforcement. Nah, because he got caught up and now he acting crazy. Y'all see that shit? Damn. He done slammed me in all type of shit. And I'm On not gonna couch. lie, I don't feel safe. I don't feel safe in this environment, in this situation. It's just getting too crazy. I'm seeing niggas fighting and all type of shit. And honestly, I just want to. It's not his fault that they fighting, bro. Oh my God. Okay, the nigga got caught cheating. Okay, shit happens. But everything else, the reason why she's going is not because of the cheating. It's because of these four random niggas in the house. Who the fuck are these niggas? And they keep touching, bro. He telling them to get out the house. It's part of his house. He paying the bills and shit, bro. The niggas won't leave. He tries. Hey, y'all need to get out. Them niggas over here slapping the nigga arms, pushing him back, choking the nigga out like, what the fuck? At that point, you got a right to kill a nigga. At that point, bro, you was the self-defense for your life in your own house. Like, am I seeing this shit wrong or am I tripping, bro? Y'all got to let me know. You got to let me know. Get the fuck out of my house. Damn. I don't want to have to call law enforcement. I see both sides where it's coming from, but I think the, the the entertainment side is the the entertainment crew is fucked up on the way they handling shit right now. What you do? Get him out my. And like this nigga talking shit to him right now, you can see the hand. You he doing the nigga shit. Niggas over here, you know how niggas talk when they be mad. The hand just and shit. I can read that shit. Look, the nigga can't do shit. He can't even talk to the whole in peace right now because these niggas is part of the conversation too. <laughs> Hey, you're gonna have to chill out, bro, because I don't want to have to call law enforcement, bro. Call the law. Get that nigga out of my shit. Bro, 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 yeah, that's crazy. Bro, she don't feel safe. Right, we'll man, man, that's crazy. I don't want to say shit to that nigga. Get him out of my shit. It's Straight crazy how these niggas is part of that relationship right now. Bro, let's talk. Get that nigga out of my shit. Alright, but calm down, bro. Calm down. I can't let you put your hands in shit. Come on, bro. He don't even know who y'all is. He just slammed me on my fing neck. What the fuck? What is wrong? Man, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. What do you got going on with that bitch? I don't give a fuck. Bro, what, whatever we gotta talk about. Go back inside and talk. Go back inside. We, we trying to de-escalate it. We trying to calm the situation down. But it's like, he don't want to listen to reason. He ain't trying to talk about shit. He ain't trying to talk about nothing. So it just seemed like, honestly, we should just stop filming and call it quits. Like, it's no point. No, no, no. started getting even worse it started getting even more crazier and like my nigga, he started knocking over bottles he acting real belligerent and jack and everybody they just felt like it was best to just stop filming for a second because it started getting real and they started pulling everybody to the side and having separate conversations gabe and my nigga had a conversation and they started talking about it because they was thumping for a while they was getting into it over him putting his hands on me so we all just started talking. Luckily, we cut the cameras off to try to cool everything down because by that time, the cops actually arrived to the house and I had to actually go to the door and talk to them while Gabe was talking to her boyfriend upstairs. Face it, man, up, bro. You already got a call. Then you try, then you try, to, call, try to bring that call. Come on, bro. Y'all brothers, y'all brothers, y'all doing this. Come on, bro. What kind of whole ass shit is that, What type of whole ass shit is y'all running up in my house with cameras, though? Bro, that's you, weird. That's different. Bro, that's weird as fuck. You don't get that, though, bro? bro. Listen, bro. Y'all don't know what the got going on or none of that, no, bro. Man, bro. Oh, yeah, that's real shit. Bro. Listen, bro. In life, you gotta admit that sometimes, bro. You got coach, you got coach, bro. You study right. Nah, his argument is fucking retarded, bro. Hey, like, 
Bro is speaking shit. He's speaking real, real G shit, man. Like, as a grown man, this is how you talk. This is the way you can hear it. He didn't really have no other reasoning. Okay, I can see. He a little touchy, right? Bro a little touchy. He's not being abusive. Like, the way... Uh, when they just had to show the last scene, you know it's editing. Editing always makes shit look worse than what it is. But the girl wasn't looking at him. What he did, he tried uh, facing her face to look over there. It's, he doing the same shit niggas do when they being played, man. When the nigga being played and a girl looking down on her phone, guess what they do? They, they grab her chin, help her help her look her their direction. That's what he was doing when they just showed that last scene of him of her going doing some wild shit back to him. He was doing that, adjusting her, her to look at him. And she spazzed out. The editing makes it look worse. He having a real conversation. He telling, bro, it's niggas, random niggas in my house. Who the fuck is y'all to come? Who, who gives y'all the right to come do this shit? I don't know y'all. Y'all some random ass niggas. The best argument he had coming back was he got quiet. Look, this is how you know a nigga fucked up. You hear a pause. The nigga had a pause and think, bro. That's If a nigga pauses like that, mid, mid argument, and just start saying random shit, he lost. He lost the argument, man. But he just, this nigga so overpowered, uh, uh, I mean, uh, overpowered by all these other people in the car. So, I mean, he can't do shit, man. He just a bad person in the situation. Niggas fuck up, man. Okay, he cheated. Girls cheat all the time, man. But it don't ever turn out this bad, you feel me? People fuck up, man. He fucked up. It shouldn't be this bad where it's everywhere, man. Where this nigga got to go through all this shit. But what? Listen to this, though. Listen, bro. Y'all don't know what the going on or none of that. Bro. Look, that's how you really talk as a man. This nigga is straight out of eye. Tell him, tell him why the fuck he acting this, acting this way. Why he got this mindset? Why they tripping? You feel me? He's giving his perspective. Man, I straight eye contact. Listen, bro. Listen, bro. Hey, listen, bro. Hey, listen, bro. That's why you know a nigga lost the fucking battle, man. He he don't really he don't know why he don't even know why he acting the way he acting. You feel me? Hey, listen, bro. Listen, bro. Just there sways a bit, thinks, and here's the shit. Here, here, here the shit he says. After, after this guy said what he had to say. In life, you gotta admit that sometimes, bro. You got caught, you got caught, bro. In life, you gotta admit sometimes. If you got caught, you got caught. What the fuck does that have to do with the with the nigga just said? The nigga talking about y'all just busting this house. Who the fuck is y'all? Y'all still not saying who y'all is, man. You, you study wrestling with us. You got caught. Different. So what, bro? All right. Yeah, that's some weird shit, man. Like, what's up, bro? Like, bro, we gave you that too many chances, bro. Why you keep doing this touching it, bro? You keep touching it. Man, y'all niggas. Keep touching it for no reason, bro. When you got caught, y'all niggas gonna make me start touching y'all in this bitch. Like, for real, though, bro. Like, 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 yeah. talk, bro. Like, you really, you really gonna have to, have to run the thighs with each one of them. I don't care, bro. But hell, you been in this Real talk, like, y'all niggas. Bro, I'm trying to be peaceful, bro. Just slide, bro. I'm trying to be peaceful. Just slide. Bro. Like, he handling shit like a real fucking man right now, bro. He talking like how I be talking. Like, you, this how you checking nigga as man to man? Like, real men, they don't really come out just yakking out guns and shit, man. They have a conversation first. If y'all got, if it, if y'all can't come to mutual heads, then y'all gonna run the fade, man. Other than that, man, you gonna have this conversation, see who the hell is really in the wrong. It may be like an ego thing at the start, but man, at the, as the conversation keep going, you realize who in the wrong, but this nigga is talking like a girl right now. The way he arguing, it's no reason, real reason behind it. He's not even open-minded on why the fuck the nigga acting the way, or why the shit going on, like, or he not even open-minded to see how this shit's weird, you feel me? So it's like the other guy talking like a real man right now, and he ain't, he, his ears is closed off like he a girl or something. I'm really trying to be We ain't going nowhere, bro. We ain't going nowhere, bro. We here all night, bro. We ain't going nowhere. Bro, this is his crib. Oh, my God. What the fuck? This shit making me mad. I'm not even in the situation. This shit off, bro. Like, okay, bro, cheat it, but who? If I got to say this one more time, who is y'all? Who is you? What is your name? Who the fuck is your crew? Who, whose cameras are these? I can't go nowhere because I got caught cheating. At the end of the day, bro, everybody just want clarity for we don't want to leave here and she feel unsafe like that, bro. I'm not about to do nothing to that girl, bro. I just okay, but 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 listen, bro, listen. He ain't done shit to her. Look, you keep you keep touching her. Stop touching her for no reason. That's the only reason why we here, bro. We can leave. If you just chill the f 
outside and have a conversation with a grown ass man. That nigga sitting here having that's a that's conversation. That's all we asking for. That's all we asking for. Can we talk, bro? Can we talk, bro? I wanted to talk before you cleared the Marine cameras. I wanted to talk before you was clear. Y'all can talk. Come on, y'all. Let him talk. Slide on the extra. Let him talk. Go. Go ahead. Now, after all this shit, he want to have a conversation now. He wants to be calm. He wants to have a conversation. But it's like, you ain't want to talk this whole time. This whole time we've been filming, you ain't want to talk. Instead of focusing on clearing out the ring cameras, doing all this shit you've been doing, you've been focusing on Gabe and the rest of the camera crew. And that's Who what I, I don't understand. Who would it? Who would not focus on the crew, bro? Who would not focus on them? Who would not do that? Bro, it really ain't no explanation for this shit. That's the homie, bro. One shit going on. I ain't touch her. We ain't kiss, touch, none of that shit. That's a friend of mine. Mm -hmm. uh, I really ain't got no explanation for why the rain camera cutting off. I don't know. You know, I don't can know. I, can I bring this in here? Can I bring this in here? Absolutely not. What the fuck you mean? Well, I though? can't bring some homies in here. Why, why would you? you I'm ain't saying. You got no male friends. I'm so saying, at this point. point I, you just bought all of this in here. Who the fuck oh, is gosh, you did. <laughs> That's, Mommy, that's, that's, how, that's, that's, plan it that's how you plan. You clearing footage and shit. You still won't admit to that shit. You bro. Uh, now she trying to piss him off, bro. That's the thing about y'all fellas, man. Y'all gonna learn how to really control y'all composure, man. Really, really learn how to control that shit. That's where I get props to girls, man. I learned that shit just from being around girls, man. Girls is great at mental games. I swear, man. They learn what pisses you off. What makes you happy? They learn every little thing about you just off of them talking. They learn what they say, how to say it to piss you off. You feel me? So the best guys who win with girls is the ones who know how to control their emotions. So look what she's saying. She's getting petty right now. She's getting petty. She's knowing how to get him mad. Listen to what she's saying. She's, see, she's building this nigga's anger back up after he just mellowed down. She says she wants him to talk and shit. Some, some, some. Why can't we have a conversation? Guess what? She's trying to piss him off again to make him look bad. Again. You feel me? So, yeah. Just just listen, man. Oh, like, oh, like, what's that? Who the fuck is these niggas? My homies. My homies. That's my homies. That's, that's, my, that's, how, you like, that's how you playing. You clearing footage. Like, she's probably a smile and laugh for now. It's a game now. After shit was just serious. Just, you still won't admit to that shit. You brought up to my shit. I don't give a fuck if that's your friend or what's going on. You bringing bitches in my shit. You you keep on negating that part. You keep on canceling out that shit. Like, just say you cleared the cameras and you... Don't worry about him. Why are you still worried about him? I don't want Oh, my God. This is why I can't even talk to this nigga. This is the stupidest part. He's talking about... Barty guard keep hopping in the conversation like it's part of his relationship. Them niggas need to shut up. I'm not going to hold. If they not part of the relationship, they just said, let's have a normal conversation. They having a conversation, bro. Let them talk. Well, there's no reason for them to be butted in right now. Oh, my God. This is why I I'm can't even to talk, talk to this nigga. This is the stupidest about this shit. Admit he what? said he talking about him. Talking about? Ain't nothing to admit. I ain't you more worried about him than you is about what the nobody, you did. Bro. I ain't touch nobody, bro. We had a drink. We had smoking a blunt. That's it, bro. I ain't fuck touch hey, so nobody. You, I can't when you go, tell when you go to work. When you go to work, can I have a drink and smoke blunts with niggas in here? I just wanted to know. I, I didn't know that. I know what the f got going on in this crib, so why the f I'm saying. I'm saying. I'm saying. No, 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 no. Answer that, though. I want to know from now on, can I start bringing niggas in here and kicking it? You want the bitch to die? <laughs> she basically saying that from the standpoint that you doing it to her, bro. Hey, the shut the fuck up. It's not that conversation. God damn. Yo, it's a dope conversation. Let these two adults have that conversation. Jack, what the fuck are you jumping in the conversation for? What are you doing? Y'all just got hired to be bodyguards and therapists this video? What the fuck? Difference. That's double standard, bro. You doing the same shit. Oh you my know, fucking you know, god, bro. This is the most L niggas, bro. This shit corny, man. This shit corny, bro. Oh my god, let the nigga have a conversation, bro. Are you paid to be a therapist? Or y'all. I'm just saying, fool. Y'all see this shit? Y'all see? Y'all see why it don't like make no here. sense to even do this shit? Yeah, that shit weird like, shit. Wow. As another man snitch on another man, it's crazy work, bro. Okay, they got caught. They got caught. You got caught. Okay. It's as it's, it's normal shit, all right? Somebody ends up getting caught in a lot of relationships. They taking on with each other. Okay. They they butt heads for a second. 
Uh, we're not going to work out, okay? You cheating on me? All right, I got to change my lifestyle. You can't be around me no more. That's normal occurrences. You feel me? It don't take another nigga to, to help a relationship realize that shit. Y'all just making shit worse. Like, there's no need for y'all to be doing this shit. That's why I've been saying, just get the out of my shit because there's no point in talking. It's no point in talking. If these Go niggas hop in this conversation the... one more time, man. You ain't trying to be with her, bro. You know I ain't trying to Go be. kick it with the homie. Hopefully she got a spot for you to stay. Like, right, they finna get mad right now. Hopefully she got a spot for you to stay. Like, oh my God. So, I'm, I'm gonna tell y'all this. If the cameras was not there, it would be easier for him to get back in with her. I ain't gonna lie. A lot of girls, even if a guy cheat, if a guy cheat, it happens a lot. Ladies, y'all know this too. If a guy cheat and he talks his way back correctly... And makes you feel a certain way. You he can usually get back into the relationship. You feel me? You are gonna be very conscious by his ways. You feel me? You you know how he is. But you, most of the time, a girl will take him back. The other way around, not really. But yeah, usually girls take back a cheating nigga. But the with the cameras on, this nigga can't even get the time of day. You feel me? She knows she got security around him. She knows she got four niggas ready to squabble up. Just to get next on the hoe, you feel me? She got cameras on him, so anything he do just looks bad. He's already in a bad position. Like, this shit's so sad to see. Yeah, what the fuck you got going on? You don't be on like that, though, bro. All this I do for you really just gonna be on that, though, type shit? Like, that's what you want right now? What the fuck you been on? I ain't been if you could, like If you could just at least answer some questions I have, for real, instead of instead of deflecting it and talking about this nigga and talking about everything else except for what the I'm asking you. Okay, 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 I'm, st I'm steady asking you about this fucking ring camera. Yes or no? Did you delete the footage? Oh, I don't even know. How? I don't know. I don't know nothing about this technology. The kids saying no, bro. What's your next question? Uh, we did everything you wanted us to do, so yeah, sure. I'm gonna go ahead and just respect his wishes and go ahead and step up out of here. But thank you. As long as you feel safe, you know what I'm saying. That's my main, my main priority. I ain't trying to leave here and shit, shit go down. Yeah, bro, I'm slide, bro. Somewhere slide. responsible. Yeah, she good, bro. She cool. She know she cool. Y'all know she cool. Like slide for sure. Y'all get That's right, Gabe. Don't take the camera. My hey, 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 hey. Oh, chill, 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 chill. As soon as we started getting chill. somewhere, we started getting getting a good conversation i started figuring out some things it's like he got <laughs> right bro crashed that at the end with the camera immediately right back on so i just feel like it's no point in continuing to film i got my answers i got my clarity i know what's going on i thank jack tv for helping me out i thank everybody that helped me film there all you know all the crew but honestly just that's a he also so i'm done this video was a lot to unpack Kayla got the answer she wanted and the clarity she needed to move forward in her relationship. Nobody got harmed in this video, you guys. Everything went smooth and we just kind of just packed up everything and left. If you enjoyed this test, make sure you comment. I think boy should have been left, man. That shit. Bro, was, bro did crash out a bit at the end with the camera band, but other than that, I still stand on everything I said. Every reason I said it makes sense to a max, you feel me? I don't know. If you don't understand it, man, on what I was saying, yeah, I guess you just got a different mindset than me. If you do, I we just like. Welcome to the crew, man. Join up, press subscribe, join the WCL. I hope y'all feel. I'm trying to bring entertainment back to the tube, bro. I feel like YouTube has been pretty boring for me. Just personally, I don't know if it's been like that for y'all. So I hope I can just bring y'all back some smiles, some some realness, some genuine shit. So if if that's how y'all feel after watching my videos, man, please let me know. Cause that's all I hope for. I had to take a little break from this because I was literally overworking this shit where I just wasn't being fun with it no more. If when I feel like the videos is bad, I feel like I'm doing I'm doing bad. You feel me? And it, I don't I ain't chill about no views, I ain't chill about no numbers or no likes, you feel me? I care about how I feel when I'm making the videos because if I if I don't feel like the video is good and I still post, I feel like I bullshitting, man. And I don't want y'all to feel that bullshit either, man. I, I want y'all to feel a real, genuine connection between me and you. So, please let me know. If it if it did make you feel the way, if you felt like my authenticity throughout this video, please let me know. Because that means a whole, the whole world to me, man. But, hey, I'm going to catch on this video. It's Line TV 2, and we just gone.